Hi guys and welcome to Shetland. Yes, welcome to Shetland guys. So before we get on to uh, photography, this uh, episode is a bit long-winded because I was going to do two or three episodes, but why not just clump it all together, one big episode of Shetland. So let's get on, let's go do some photography. Welcome back guys, so I'm at the top of Fall Cliffs. I'm not pushing over this fence line, it's far too dangerous. You can see the fence line just parallel on the cliff here. I've got what I wanted here, so I had some lovely light just come through here. I've got this lovely V shaped just right in front of me here. I've got a sea mist that's coming at the minute. I'm gonna wait again till that clears. Awesome location, really, really spectacular. It's so dramatic as well. It's getting the winds picking up as well and obviously you can see where I've got to go as well over this hill following the fence line up then down towards uh, St Ninian's. Got about another four or five kilometres to go but that is bloody awesome really really spectacular. Right I'm going to wait for this sea mist to go capture another shot. Oh spectacular it really is. Then pack up then get walking again. Bye for now. Welcome back guys, so the mist has cleared. I finally got a shot where a nice, big, busy vista. Look at this for the sea stacks just right behind me here. Did have 16 to 35 on, put switched at 7200. Uh, circular polarizer on, uh, 0.6 gradient for that sky. Still a bit harsh at the minute. Awesome, awesome image. Uh, this, this coastline is so dramatic. Uh, I'm, I'm not right near the edge. I'm just going to push all the way around this coastline as well. What you can see it is absolutely unbelievable. Every turn you you make it Shetland here it is unbelievable. Really is. Right. Stop talking. Let's get on. And I'm going to push you around and, uh, like I said before, and get some more images. See you in a while. Welcome back guys, location two, St Ninian's. Awesome location. I'm perched nice and high up on the uh, sandbank here. From a foreground, I'm just incorporating this little triangle shaped rock here with the, the actual sandbank going out to St Ninian's Isle. Look at that sun going down just behind it. Should go down over here somewhere, hopefully, but absolutely stunning, beautiful. Straightforward, 113th of a second on this one, all the way up to F18, F20. 
brought it back down now to F11 and it's uh, coming out really spectacular. I had a 0.9 grad in, I'm going to switch that to a 0.6 because it is getting softer and softer that sun so it is uh, working out really well. Okay guys, see you at next location, bye for now. Welcome to location three guys, look what is in front of me. So I'm at Muggle Flagger, most UK's most northerly point. Absolutely fantastic, I'm just on my way to the lighthouse but I couldn't resist it and stop and grab a puffin shot. Just look at that, absolutely brilliant, gorgeous. Oh that is superb, to be one with nature like that. I'm not a uh, wildlife photographer and more landscape but I just couldn't resist it absolutely beautiful right let's get some more pictures and puffing shots and I'll see you at the lighthouse bye for now oh it's windy guys welcome back still on location three at the minute muckle flugger lighthouse I've got a couple of puffins just down to my right here I will capture them for you I'll try and get it on video as well that is what I've come to capture today. So lucky to have the weather on my side. Could be peeing down the rain and all sorts today, but look at the light. Got some nice contrast in the sky as well, a bit of blue, but the color of the water as well is really, really nice, really nice. My settings for this one's gonna be straightforward. I'll be shooting about one to one hundredth of a second, 0.6 grad onto the sky, uh, circular polarizer on, F11 all the way through and uh, ISO 100 straight and simple guys it really is I mean it's, what you've got is right in front of you there it's absolutely nice I am going to be putting uh, long exposures on this as well probably anything anywhere between 10 and 15 seconds possibly on a 10 stop see how we go with that one but guys this is phenomenal I'm happy I've got puffins and everything on this one oh my god even gannets as well Gannets are really nice as well, really like long necks on them and as well. There's one flying in the background there. Oh, nice, but beautiful. I'm gonna crack on now, get my photography done. Guys, see you at next location. Bye for now. Welcome guys and welcome to Each Nest Lighthouse. Very dramatic scenes. Got the lighthouse just up here. One hand on my tripod all the time. Some lovely light being cast upon the uh, lighthouse itself. I'm hopefully going to capture that. Really dramatic scenes here. The, the, uh, the water, lovely aqua blue to it as well. So nice grey skies. Absolutely fantastic area this. A lighthouse just up here. There you go, just up there. I'm capturing the scene, portrait and landscape mode. Look at the light just hitting the actual cliff face itself. Nice black volcanic rock here. Really, really spectacular. I am right at the edge here. I have checked this and it's solid, solid rock. So it's not gonna collapse on me. Hopefully not, fingers crossed. But it's so, so dangerous. If you are doing this sort of photography when you come to Shetland, be very very careful what you're doing next to the edges around here I'm not gonna bang on about health and safety it's common sense guys common sense very very windy today about 30 to 40 mile an hour gusts so a bit of luck that is gonna look spectacular when it turns out in the images guys awesome area this h &S Lighthouse, three words on the screen for this location. It is so, so, takes your breath away, this sort of place. It really does, literally with the wind as well, but it's absolutely, absolutely draw dropping. It really is. 
it's absolutely Baltic as well it's like an Arctic wind just come in so uh, it is absolutely really really nice right I'm gonna get a few images here hopefully that's a bit of sunlight is gonna penetrate that clouds at the minute and just cast the light from behind you over here and illuminate that like it is now fantastic right let's get a few more images Oh wow guys, Ishanes Cliffs, three words on the screen. This place is one of nature's wonderful places in Scotland, it really is. It just, oh, you could just sit here and just look at that all day. But we don't want to do that, we want to create some images. So what am I after? Well, lots, I'm gonna, just gonna go with the flow, see what happens, see what I can see. Want some nice foreground images, singular sea stacks, and nice big vistas. See you at my first composition. Bye for now. Welcome guys to my first composition on Ishan S. Oh, it's really, really fantastic. I'm doing a long exposure for this shot. Eight second exposure, F11, ISO 100, about 17 mil. I've got a, a case six stop in there and I've got a, a Lee, basically 9.9 reverse grad for that sky because it's really, really flat at the minute so it's bringing out some nice contrast in the sky. This should turn out a really good black and white, but we'll see how that turn one turns out. I'm gonna try color on this as well, but absolutely beautiful, really, really nice. Straightforward guys on this one. I'm gonna push around to the cliffs now, see what different angles I can get. I wanna try and get down to a beach as well with a nice bit of foreground interest and pick some nice singular stacks out. Right, let's get going. See you up there. Well guys, that is me done here at Ishanes. I am going to come back here possibly tomorrow or the next day to revisit this place in better light conditions. Hopefully get some nice light on the actual water itself. I was on the cliffs at the top here capturing the, these sea stacks but the weather is slightly deteriorating now. As you can see the weather has closed in, it's starting to rain. Absolutely fantastic location if you're a landscape photographer and do want to visit Shetland Islands beautiful beautiful sea stacks here right that is me it's actually pouring down the rain now and uh, I'm gonna pack up my gear and get back to the car see you next location guys bye for now good morning guys and welcome to a very chilly start for the day here in the Shetland now what I'm doing this morning hopefully going to capture that nice sunrise coming up it's slowly slowly changing color at the minute it's three o'clock in the morning guys so if you want to do a sunrise in the Shetland be prepared to get up nice and early or you could just stay awake all night yeah three o'clock in the morning well I'm going to use the leading line to this old ruin just looking out into the horizon itself and uh, obviously that little island behind me there, hopefully just breaking the horizon. Should be a, a nice colourful scene. Using the uh, landscape as well, the greenery. It's absolutely beautiful. Just stretching out into the horizon there. Got a time lapse on the go, capturing this sunrise. Hopefully, it's, fingers crossed, it's gonna be a good one. You never, never know with the Shetland. Really don't, because it's so unpredictable here with the weather. Uh, right, once I've done here, I'm going to push down to the coast and capture, hopefully, some nice seascape once the sun comes up, then uh, see how it turns out. So I'll speak to you in a minute. Three words on the screen for you firstly, uh, before I disappear, of where this place actually is. Just north of Lerwick, about two miles. And uh, yeah, let's see how we get on this morning, capturing this. Speak to you in a minute. Bye for now.
tiny bit of uh, colour coming through the sky at the minute as you can see in the background here lovely pink starting to break through there but as you can see uh, how weird my tripod that is actually set up against this wall here so I can get the downward view of this lovely zigzag of this old ruin I'm just praying for some lovely lovely light to just come through those clouds now and it just looks like it's breaking now lovely cast of pink in the uh, the background there on the cloud hopefully it's going to break a bit more I get some really nice colorful sky and uh, I'm going to leave this, this going and uh, I'll speed it up uh, once uh, hopefully you can capture that but the time lapse will actually capture that hopefully but absolutely beautiful 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 well guys I'm glad I'm got this on video for you because you'd never actually believe me with those rays of light just coming through there I'm gonna give it a good 10-15 minutes here this location capturing those rays of light just coming through there on the horizon what a morning it didn't look much this morning when I turned up but now it's absolutely <laughs> spectacular look at those rays of light that is awesome oh the Shetland Isles I tell you every corner you take on this island is absolutely spectacular wow alrighty guys and welcome to Fugler Ness Lighthouse a, a tongue twist of that one Fugler Ness so I'm gonna do something just straightforward here uh, possibly Get some long exposures and uh, use the leading lines of some of these rocks for the lighthouse. But the sky is a bit flat, but this is Shetland. If you do come up to Shetland, do not expect blue skies, lots of sunshine. Do expect that mist cloud to come in, and it happens every day near enough. But this is Shetland, and it's what you expect from it. Now, let's get on. Get with some on with some uh, some, some photography, of course and uh, capture this lighthouse. See you in a minute. Okay guys, straightforward this one. All I'm doing here is putting a, a point six grad in as I normally do. I use grads a lot as you can tell, especially if it's a flat sky like this. Just brings that contrast into the sky. Uh, 24 mil, 1 13th of a second, ISO 100, F11, all the way through just focusing on the lighthouse itself no need to focus like this whatsoever and the image is turning out absolutely stunning I'm also going to be pushing down by the rocks here and get some nice uh, leading lines up to the lighthouse because I have seen some lovely leading lines just down here and hopefully I can get some nice compositions of that you'll see the images of this place on at the end and uh, hopefully fingers crossed they turn out really sweet right See you at next location. Bye for now. Welcome guys and welcome to the Drongs. Text on the screen for you, the Drongs. Three words as well on the screen for you where this location is. I very much doubt you'll be coming down here. It is very, very dangerous getting down to the bottom here. A bit like Mangaster, clinging on for dear life and all that but very, it's not advisable to do this. Uh, as a landscape photographer myself, I do take risks to get the shot. So I'm down at the bottom, capturing some nice foreground interest, waves crashing in, rock formations, and the drums in the background, as you can see. Really, really spectacular and dramatic. So I'm waiting for a big wave, just like this one coming in now, just to surround the, uh, the rock formations in front of me. The tide is going out, so I might have to push a bit further in to get some more foreground interest. I'll speak to you in a minute.
Welcome back guys. So down at the Drongs on the coastline. Again, listen, I'm a climber, I'm a mountaineer. I know my limits. Uh, this place is not advisable to get to. It is very, very dangerous. So what I've been doing is put my six stop on, put a 0.6 reverse grad on as well because it's super bright, F16, ISO 100, slowing it down all the way down to two second exposure. Been capturing multiple shots all the way along the coastline here. It's absolutely brilliant. I tell you what, I've got some cracker of shots here. Well, I think they're uh, crackers anyway. Let me know in the comments. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. So guys, I'm gonna finish up here, push back up, uh, I say push back up, climb back up and uh, maybe work along my way to the coastline and see what I can uh, get at the drongs as well. Anyway, let's uh, push on and I'll see you at next location. Bye for now. Spectacular. So I'm just on my way to my, my next location. But look at this. See the seals? Popping their heads up. Amazing. Some more there. Ah, oh, looks like they're all coming in for the night. Right, let's get on with it and uh, get on to the next location which you can probably see just behind me over here in the, in the distance a bit of a two kilometer walk but uh we'll get there see you there well good evening everybody and welcome to door home door home in the text for you and three words on the screen now for you lovely uh rock feature in the distance here it's supposed to uh, represent a horse's head dipping into the sea, having a drink. Uh, it does actually look like that as well. Uh, what I'm trying to do here, just slow the motion of the water down. A quarter of a second, possibly one sixth of a second. Quite fast moving tide. And the uh, rock feature in the background. Hopefully the sky is going to turn a nice orange colour tonight. We'll see what happens though and I'll report back if it does. I'm sure I will. But uh, absolutely fantastic. Well guys, uh, this location is turning out really nice. I'm getting uh, what I want here. With these locations, do keep an eye out the tide behind you and uh, any coastal scene really. And uh, keep an eye on the waves. Now, I've changed uh, my settings for this one. I put a 0.6 grad on, a 16 to 35 mil lens. I'm shooting it at what quarter of a second, f11 to f16. Awesome scene here. Let me know what you think in the comments about this image. And uh, as always, guys, enjoy the images. And uh, I'll see you very, very soon in the Highlands of Scotland. Shetland, it's been amazing. What a place. You know, I thought the Outlaw Hebrides was good, but this place is really something else. Some coastal scenes anyway, that's for sure. Enjoy the images, guys. See you soon. Bye for now.